Well, it's a rather beautiful Sunday morning and here I am in Hall Park on the outskirts of my hometown of Workington. Beautiful, isn't it? To get here I had to go through the town centre and I noticed the amount of business premises that were standing empty or to let or for sale. It reminded me of the 1980s when Thatcher's destruction of our industrial base here in the Northwest had created so much desperation and misery and poverty. When businesses were closing down right, left and centre just as they are now. And I remember the desperation of the population. I remember my own two years of unemployment. The only time in my life, apart from my homelessness, where I was unemployed. But let's have a little look at the town now. I remember when this town used to be absolutely teeming with people every day of the week. I actually worked for a couple of years. My first proper job outside of YTS slavery schemes in the 1980s, my first proper job was for a large retailer in the middle of Workington, in the middle of the shopping centre. And I remember every day of the week, the streets were teeming with people. This is what the town was like yesterday, market day, Saturday. As you can see, there aren't that many people, and that's because nine years of neoliberal austerity has taken its toll on this little northwestern community. Shops have closed, businesses are laying people off, even the pubs are struggling. The one social hub of this working class town. Many have closed down, those that haven't often work reduced hours. Some don't even open at all in the week. Now, I'm not saying that pubs are necessarily the be all and end all of a community, but in a community like this little West Cumbrian town, the pubs are indicative of the economy. And the economy is crashing. People are poorer than they used to be, and they're having to tighten their belts. And the pounds that they do have, are worth far less than they were in 2016 before this nation voted to surrender our sovereignty to the highest bidder in a deplorable race to the bottom. And things are about to become a whole lot worse. Already we're seeing shortages. No deal Brexit means high tariffs affecting both imports and exports and an even further devalued pound. Jobs will go, that's beyond any reasonable contestation. Services will suffer. British livestock farmers will be unable to compete as cheap meat from the Americas floods our markets and standards of production become dictated by the likes of Donald Trump as part of any trade deal. A deal that the Americans insist must also include carving up our NHS. The clock's ticking. Talk to your friends, talk to your neighbours, talk to your MP. Stop this no-deal madness before it's too late. So I've asked 10 random people to say into camera, either no deal Brexit will be fine or no deal Brexit will be a catastrophe, depending upon what they believe. Here are the results. If we must have Brexit, have it with an agreement. Brexit will be bad. No deal Brexit will be fine. A no deal Brexit will be bad. Hello, I think a no deal Brexit will be horrible. I think no deal Brexit, I think, will be a disaster. No deal Brexit would be fine. I think no deal Brexit would be a total catastrophe. The sooner we're out, the better. No deal doesn't matter. Out, 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 and get our nation back. Uh, no deal Brexit, Brexit will be a disaster.